Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Hey Man, I am Josh Wolf. And I am Jacob Wolf, I almost said Jacob, I don't know what I almost said, but my name is Jacob, let's try that again, take two. Hey everybody, um, what's up, welcome to another edition of Hey Man, um, what's up man? Did you want to say your name again, you want to try that? No, nah, I think they know who I am. It's, Listen dude, sorry. how you doing? Oh, I'm all right. I've had some I – lo- I would say I, I fixed my camera, but you'd be surprised to know that this camera isn't actually my webcam. Yeah, it's – This is almost a $100 webcam to shoot in 4K, and it shoots in like 1970s quality. Like how is that possible? The camera on my 2007 laptop works better. I think it's your internet. Nope, because I'm wired up right now, big dog. Don't even try to play me. I think I'm, I, I keep that motherfucking dang on me. I think the internet's bad, and that's why your webcam looked like shit. I've had the same webcam and same internet since we've been doing these at this apartment. That that logic makes zero sense. Well, that explains why it's always looked so bad. <laughs> it never looked that blurry. You watch your mouth. Now listen, dude, I want to tell you something. First of all, I was in Winnipeg this week. Canada, I'm so sorry I missed you. I'm very I'm very I was very bummed out about that. Thanks tell everybody why you didn't make the trip. Well, you know, I like to leave my things out in the open, like on tops of date or tables and places where I know that if I don't move it or I'm not gonna use it for a long period of time, it will stay there, right? That might just be a guy thing. So I went back to look to where I put my passport the last time I saw it. Not there. Went to check the other spot it might be. Not there. Now, this is when the panic set in and I started opening drawers, knowing damn well they weren't going to be in any drawers. Yeah. Not in any drawers. So, Canada, I'm sorry I missed you, but I could not locate where, my passport. And you, I also – go ahead. Where did you think it was? Okay, so I have a coffee table in my living room. And I have this other table that's next to my couch that's just kind of like a – and my girlfriend, Iman, hates it because it's my fault it's there because we had friends over one weekend and then I just never set the table or put it away. It's one of the foldable six-foot tables. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so I just left it up and pushed it up against the wall. And now just a bunch of crap lifts on it. So – but I know I can tell you seven different things that are on it right now and where exactly they are. My passport was one of them. It's not there anymore, and it's not in any of the stuff there. All I know is that I don't know where my passport is. That's the only thing I know. Now, this this emphasizes why we do one room, two beds because yeah, it's easy. Also, you need me to keep your shit together. That is the absolute opposite of reasons why we do that. We do that because. I first of all, when you come back in, come for back your in second tomorrow. show when we're, at, yeah. when we're at when we're at the comedy show. When yeah. you come back in after your second show and you've done the meet and greets and all that, before I go sell merch, your stuff is packed up so that you don't leave anything. Whose charger yeah. do we bring everywhere? Not yours, but yeah. mine. You know why? Because I'm gonna remember it and you won't. I had to buy another set, another earbuds and another phone charger this week and shocker ladies and gentlemen that's the first weekend i haven't been on this year what do you know dude what do you know all i'm saying is i i keep track like not only am i part of the act you know what i'm saying but i'm also like your roadie i'm kind of like your roadie manager like i i keep track of all your stuff i you know keep time frames not the best but sometimes like you know, I, I help you stick to a little bit of a schedule because sometimes both, you know, you're me and I'm you. I get easily distracted by random shit. Yeah. So do you. That's true. And he'll, you'll That's be like, true. yeah, I'm going to go work out in 10 minutes. An hour goes by and I'm like, hey, are we still going to the gym? And he's like, oh, snap. And then we have to work out in 25 seconds to be ready by to get way. in the car 10 minutes later. Here, by the way, here's why I think your internet sucks because you freeze a lot. I have usually when my internet freezes, I can see myself freeze. I haven't frozen once this entire time. By the way, I just want to point out you froze last time a couple times. So I I know. I know. I did. Hey, dude, let me just say a couple things about Winnipeg. First of all, they bought 
every piece of merch I I brought. Let's go. They bought every ticket. The crowd. Let me tell you something about that club. That club, Rumors in Winnipeg, is so good, dude. You and the crowds are. You know what I liked about that crowd? Hmm. They weren't easy. They were fair. And so they really. Yeah, okay. gave, I was. I like that dude because they're giving me a good judge on what's actually funny. Yeah, and, and so it, there are some crowds we go where. My dad will just say hello and everybody oh. laughs. And it's like, yeah, okay. well, hold on. Everybody just, just, you got to give me a challenge here. You can't just laugh at all of my knock knock jokes already. Like, what? That doesn't, it also, like, that crowd is the type of crowd that helps you get better. By the way, I also like the crowd that laughs at everything because it makes oh. me feel really good. Big boost of confidence. I'm good for either one, is what I'm yeah. saying. You know, me too. I like whatever crowd because they all provide different things. Right. I'll tell you, man, the the people there, I will say, dude, it was it was one day it was like 14 degrees. Fair enough. It's, it's the one thing I'm not mad about missing from Canada. Dude, it's 14 degrees, right? And uh, by the way, you're going to have to take notes today. I don't on, have- on, on times. Yeah, I'll just I'll write it down on my phone. Um, so. And I saw a woman with open toe shoes and shorts. And I said to her, I go, what? What are you doing? That doesn't even make any sense. She said, it's spring. And I was like, huh? She goes, it's spring. I was like, yeah, but the weather, uh, there's ice and snow. And she looked right at me. She goes, the calendar says it's spring. So I'm wearing my spring clothes. I'm like, that. That for me is like taking things so literally. That's like people who take the Bible so literally. It's like, are you crazy? Like, just because it says it's spring doesn't mean it's spring temperature. What is wrong with you? But for them, it is spring temperature. This is what I found out. There were people who were showing up to my shows dressed casually springtime because it's minus 40 in the winter. That, by the way, if you choose to live in a place where it gets minus 40. I don't know if we can be friends for a multitude of reasons. Number one, I will never come to visit you yeah, because true. you live in a very cold place. Two, I'm judging all of your morals because why do you live in such a cold place? Morals? You're judging their morals? I'm judging everything about that person. Why did you choose to live in a city or a country or a state or whatever? I'm not negative. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I am not done with my temperature rant. Okay. All right. You're you're going to get a lot of angry emails. That's fine. It's cold in Canada, but this rant's just heating up. Now, let me finish. That shit is not okay. Why? Why put yourself through the trials and tribulations? Why not go live somewhere where it's not minus 40? Now, if you like the cold, cool. I get the sunny states and the hot states are a little more expensive, understandable because of the weather. However, you can move somewhere where during the winter it's not minus 40. And in the spring, it's not 14. All I'm saying is there's just a lack of judgment somewhere that I just don't understand. Okay. I don't judge their morals. And, and here's the thing. Like I ask people, I'm like, why? Do, why? Like, why? Why? Just, just why? Yeah. That's the question. I, I will say one thing about Winnipeg. And by the way, I had a great time. I bet. And, I, I'm not saying anything people, wrong about the city. I'm just saying wrong about the people. No, and the people were great, dude. Are you kidding? But I, I – here's one thing I will say. There wasn't a whole lot of um, civic pride. Like no, anytime, nobody was like, yeah, Winnipeg. Like there was never – nobody was ever like, my city fucking rocks. You know, when like people in New York are like, fucking New York. And LA is fucking LA, you know, and roll tide. But there was nobody like fucking Winnipeg. Yeah, that was got, probably got a couple boos in there where they're like, give it up for Winnipeg. And they were like, boo. No, 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 no. Like, I would, here's the thing it, it's the one place where you could make fun of the city and nobody was like, don't say that. You know, everyone was like, that's true. You know, that, and, and here, I'll tell you something else. Springtime, you, so they don't put salt on the roads. They put – I I think it's because they would have to salt the roads 
so many months during the year that it would because salt eats up the cars it causes a lot of rust right 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 so as the snow melts it just turns black from the dirt that's so why I, I asked the dude who was driving me to the club one night i was like how long i go how you like that black dark brown Snow. He goes, that's the color of spring in Winnipeg. And I was like, yikes. That but is an unfortunate thing to look forward to. That being said, I went to a fantastic coffee shop. The hotel was fantastic. I went, I bought, you ever buy something and get it home and know immediately? Yeah. I'm never You're never wearing that. it again? Yeah. I'm never wearing that. What is it? Do that? But yeah, well, I, I've done it before, 100. I will say, like, there are things that I've bought that are in my closet that I just went and bought the day of for like a costume party, and it's just sat in my closet. One of them is in I got from American Igu- or Iguana uh, here in LA. And there's, by the way, did you know there's five of them? I thought I just knew there were two: Hollywood and the Valley. And there's so there's one there on Ventura, the one that we always used to know about. Yeah. There's one in Hollywood. There's another one in North Hollywood. There's one in K Town. Like they're all over the fucking place. Why don't you tell people what it is? Because they know what you're talking so, about. So Iguana in the city of Los Angeles is like a vintage store. And so it's it's vintage clothing, vintage shoes, vintage wigs, like anything you can think of that is I wonder vintage, dude. like prior two thousands, it's in there. And great. The clothes are great. Great stuff, I, I, great great pricing too. They have great sunglasses. If you're like dad who likes to go buy crazy sunglasses, um, my girlfriend has an Old Spice Office Depot racer jacket that she got from there as well for like two hundred bucks, which is a great price. Let me ask um, you something, dude. But I but wonder, okay, yeah, right. I wonder if the K Town clothing and by the way, everybody, K Town is Korea Town. I wonder if the K Town clothing is different from the North Hollywood clothing, which is different from the Hollywood clothing. Like I wonder if they. I wonder if they get a piece and they're like, this will sell in K-Town, but it won't sell in Hollywood. I think if I got to be honest, like where my thought process goes is I believe it's just like whoever comes in to sell that piece, it sits at that store. I don't think they'll alternate it back and forth between or like send it to certain spots, but I feel like whatever they have or whatever they get, they don't rotate. Yeah, but I think also if I understand thrift stores like that correctly, it's not as much Buffalo Exchange. Like they – they have buyers that go out and buy clothes. They also have people who come and sell their clothes yes. too. But they have buyers that go out. And so I wonder if they like uh, – it doesn't matter. Um, Anywho. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I, I have something in my je- in my closet, which not going to lie, I had packed in my suitcase for Winnipeg. By the way, my suitcase, ladies and gentlemen, is still packed for Winnipeg. It's still sitting by my front door. Or, 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 when are you going to pack for Austin? I might just – Bring this same clothing and just be. St- is it is it hot there in Texas right now? It's hotter than fucking Winnipeg, dude. Yeah, but at night, I don't know. All I'm saying is, I'm have- sixty degrees in Austin at night. That's pretty good. Anywho, oh, I'll check it out. I might come out with some nice, like, interesting, interesting outfits. But I have an '80s giant, like, super, super bright neon green ski jacket, no hood, but the zipper goes mid chest. And it's got a purple and purple and pink stripes down the middle of it. Yeah. Fine. But I've only worn it because I wore it for Halloween like a year and a half ago just for a party because I don't remember. I forget what we were. All I know is that I went and bought that and a pair of very extra tight mid-thigh jean shorts, cutoffs that I wore to this party. I think it was a decade party and I think we chose 80s is why I ended up you know, in that that's, outfit. That's, that, you might as well have taken that jacket from my closet when I was growing up. Oh, dude, I'm going to bring it to Austin just so you can see it. It's great. I think I always forget that it's in the back of my closet because there's no, <laughs> there's no reason for me to be wearing it. Yo, I can't wait for you to – my one of my favorite clothing stores in the country is in Austin. Are we getting some Tex-Mex when we're in Austin? We're get, I might get some TCs. TC. Taco Cabana. Oh, is there a co- oh, oh right? We're at San Antonio. It's in Texas. Yeah, TC. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting that queso. Yeah. By the way, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I had I had Taco Cabana for the very first time when we were in San Antonio last summer. How good was that queso? Tell me. 
Now there are gonna literally, be people- literally to die for that queso was so good. I could eat just a tub of that. With yeah, nothing else. Like I could just spoon queso into my mouth. It was so. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put quotes here on the queso because I don't think there's a whole lot of actual cheese in. Well, well whatever. It's got a it, cheese base. Yeah. yeah well, it's got a cheese base. I bet you, if we wiggled it, it would be a cheese. Do you base. consider Velveeta to be cheese? There's cheese in it. It feels Velveeta y. However, Taco Cabana, listen, if you if, if headquarters is watching, just know that I I ate more bean and cheeses in college in San Antonio. Dipping in the queso. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, dude. dude. That's literally now, it's it's someone, cool. someone brought it to us in San Antonio, oh, which was the okay. craziest. So we walked into the green room to a bag of Taco Cabana, which was outstanding while you were on stage i was so high in that green room i ate four of those bean and cheeses with the queso before you called me on stage and by the way not one at a time i was double fisting alternating bites like it it was crazy that was a ridiculous ridiculous food by the way indiana jones just walked in hello indiana hello buddy hello big boy yeah Sorry. Why don't you why don't you jump up on dad and come say hello? I would like to see your face. You want to come up here, dude? You want to put your little head up here? Come here. Come on. Come here. I don't think he's gonna. Indiana, you, you go see go see him. Come on. He's been he's been chastised so many times for knocking over the stuff on this table. But he's <laughs> shy. He's like, nah, I'm not falling for that, man. And he's like, man, if I disconnect this and his camera goes out, I'm gonna oh. <laughs> I'm not going to hear the end of it. Oh, dude, he's he 100%. He is gun shy for sure. Dude, I will tell you, there are going to be people in Texas who are going to be like, Taco Cabana, we're also eating at Terry Black's barbecue. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I got to have some of it. I've seen you wear that hat for the last year and a half, and I've never been. Wait a second, though, but you get in Friday late? Uh, I'll check my flight, but yeah, you booked it for Friday. So we just have one day in Austin. Well, it looks like we're eating a whole bunch of food on Saturday. Well, also, who says I can't Uber Eats Taco Cabana to the club? You're well, we'll definitely get Taco Cabana to the club if you want. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need some of that queso. It's not happening. By the way, also, like, uh, back to the Velveeta cheese comment. Yeah. Maybe their cheese looks like Velveeta and feels like it because it's so good that it just looks like fake cheese. I don't understand that logic even a little. Velveeta cheese looks too good to be true, right? Because it's creamy, it's rich, it's like that liquid gold gooiness, right? Yeah. What if the queso just imitates it? Like, because it's so good that it looks fake, but it's not. Do you, you know? Have, do you know what? Do you know what I'm getting at? That's like, like, yeah. like my my aunt would be my uncle if she had balls, but she doesn't. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know where I'm I'm going with that? No, th- but I do know this. <laughs> I don't honestly. You threw out a lot of sayings there, and I yeah, I, I pulled I pulled something out of the hat that I knew you weren't gonna understand. Well, it's from I, mean, I understand my aunt would be my uncle. By the way, also everybody who's gonna say that it's aunt, not aunt. Yo, a u n t. It's not a haunted house. It's a haunted house. You don't you don't taunt somebody. You taunt them. Yeah. That's what the U is there for. And an ant, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is the little insect that you see on the floor. They sound different because we spell them different. You don't just spell something different and then just pronounce it the way something else is pronounced. That's really dumb. That's one of the words that, like, look, man, you and I can go back for back and forth on pecan and pecan. Right? I guess we can. But haunt, aunt, and ant. We ant is spelled A-N-T. Although... Yeah, there's no although. No, there is no although. Absolutely. By the way, I know I'm taking notes for timing for clips. I just want to check this out to make sure. What does your time say? My time says 1847. What does yours say? I don't even know how that's possible. I'm at night. I'm a minute ahead of you. I'm at 1935. I'm kidding. Mine was at 1935. Oh, thank God. I was about to be pissed. I was like, man, am I writing down these numbers for no reason? Like yeah, last week, your your time was way off, dude. Ten minutes ahead. 
I'm watching this docu-series on David Koresh and Waco on Netflix. Who's David Koresh? Oh, what? Yo, that's right. You're a young guy. David wait, is, wait, wait. Is when I when I heard Waco, is that was one of the 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 unfortunate tragedies that occurred? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Um, Waco was they they lit that building on fire. Oh, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Then okay. Hey, by the think? way, you you froze up on that one, so I don't want to hear it. Um, what? I was thinking of the dude who was shooting people from the the no from the clock the, tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that was. I think that might have been Austin. I think that was Texas, though. It was Texas. Might have been Austin. I'm surprised you heard of that and not Waco. Waco was David Koresh was a cult leader. Uh, but I'll tell you something. The reason I think about him is because he had these glasses. Also, I'm telling you, man. I was going to bring it up, but I decided not to because I was going to wait for you to bring it up because you just are. I don't want to say embracing your inner serial killer because we might get canceled for that. But you know. Yeah, I don't think we're like, going to cancel. Like, you, you got the confidence to rock the serial killer glasses, but I wouldn't say it's the best move. I will say this. I think the glasses with the mustache is the way to go. I want to see you with the glasses and just the mustache. You want me to shave my – dude, do you know the last time I shaved my beard? Fully? Remember? Like like with a razor? Fully? You, fully? You know the last time you, – you don't. But you want to guess from the last time I was clean shaven? I'm raising my head. Oh, okay. Your wedding day. Huh? Your wedding day. That's right. 2004 was the last time I've been clean shaven. 2004. That's pretty nuts. Do you think I should do it just to see? Nope. Do you remember me at all clean shaven? Yep. You Absolutely. do? Oh, yeah. Dude, I know I was young for that wedding, but I remember my parents' wedding pretty vividly. Do you really? Yeah. What do you, what do you remember? I remember Gary getting up on stage to sing. I remember me stealing that piece of cake because you guys kept trying to have a cute moment and I just wanted a goddamn piece of cake. I remember I remember a little bit of the ceremony. Um, I remember you and Caitlin dancing. Um, I remember like bigger moments. Maybe that's because that's what we have pictures of. Yeah. But but those memories do flood back. I don't I have any recollection, however, of me walking into the back room and falling asleep on that chair. You did fall asleep. You passed out. I'll tell you something, dude. You were never a guy that was like, I'm staying up late. When you retired, you were like, hey, deuces. Deuces. Like a hundred percent. I was always even in high school, like if all the, the all the buddies were staying up late. And we were all in one room. I'd be like, great. I'm going to go find the room where there's no people. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. You were never a guy who was like, I got to stay yeah. Trevor the same way. You know why? Because uh, what's the fucking point? And also, I, like, you know what? Also, like, if I go to bed late, that means I wake up late the next day, which means I've wasted half my day. Like, no joke. I've been, sm- I've been smoking a lot less, just like in general. Um, I've just been cutting back. Like, I used to wake up. And the first thing I would do when I wake up is if I didn't have something rolled up, I'd roll something up. But it's 6 p.m. here in Los Angeles, and I haven't even thought about rolling a blunt. Actually, that's a lie. I do have it next to me that I'm going to roll up after the show. But I, I've just been Let's a lot less that. recently. Wait, wait, hold on. There's a sleeping thing okay. at the end of that. So I've been s- staying up a lot later because yeah. you know me. My if I'm if I if I don't smoke weed, like I will be up forever. Like yeah. I can just – even staring, looking at my phone or turning the lights off, they're like, just put your phone down and close your eyes. No, that is not how that works. And I'm just yeah. quietly staring at the inside of my eyelids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that shit doesn't work for me. So I always have like a little in my system to just get me comfortable in bed and then I'm out. But I've just – I've cut back a little more and I'm trying not to smoke really late at night. It's also just like a saving money thing. Like I'm just – I've been blowing through it way too fast. So I'm just trying to – comfortably pace myself do you know what i'm saying I, yeah i have a couple questions i'm gonna write something down so i don't forget okay i already, I already forgot damn it something about me cutting back on smoking weed yeah that was the one i remembered but there was another one that was good well let me ask you something are you feeling any different otherwise 
feels like a therapy Zoom session because you're writing stuff down. You have glasses yeah. on. No, yeah. I'm really curious. Are you feeling any any different? Oh, 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 oh. He, okay. By the way, for those of you listening, he just remembered his other question. That's yeah. <laughs> that's that's what that <laughs> that's what that sound is. Just, um, <laughs> just so you guys know. Are you feeling any different? Because I know that I've cut. For those of you who don't know, and I'm back to taking some edibles now. But I went four months, five months, four or five, four or five, something without like that. any weed or mushrooms. Um, I had I had some health issues, and the weed was not helping. Yeah, and so I needed to do a quick clean out, and then I ended up just not smoking or eating edibles or doing mushrooms um, because I just was like, I want to know what that. Feels like I'll tell you something, dude. I my brain needed it. My brain needed it, dude. I understand that. It needed it desperately. And I'm curious if you felt any different cutting back at all. I mean, maybe because like I haven't been doing it for like and it's not like I have been going cold turkey like you did. You know what I'm saying? So and I will also say like I smoke more obviously when my friends come over because that's just – it's a social thing that I'm I'm used to and like to do with friends. And something that I've met some of my best friends doing in a random circle was I would sit there. I'd be at a party. I'd be smoking and then people would come up and we'd talk and those are dudes I've been friends with for years. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? One yeah. of those guys was Jackson. I got lucky enough to meet him. For those of you who don't know, my buddy Jackson Odell uh, was one of my – best friends of my entire life. Uh, unfortunately he did not make it to 21. Uh, he passed away, uh, about five years ago, uh, or going on five years. Wow. This June, five years, dude. There's no way that was five years, dude. I was 21 when it happened. He never made it to 21. It was June. It was June 9th. Oh my God. Five years ago. That's crazy. Coming up on five years. Anywho, Jackson O'Dell uh, was one of my absolute best friends and one of the best human beings you'll ever meet in this world. And I met him my sophomore year uh, at a party that a girl in our group was like, hey, I want to bring my boyfriend. And I was like, cool. Yeah, sure. This is not my house, so I don't really care. Yeah. But the, the minute I met Jackson O'Dell and we started smoking weed and we started shooting the shit, like, for me, it has be, it has turned into something that anybody in that smoking circle can be a lifetime friend. But also anybody at that circle at any point in time, like no one's got a care in the world. They're all invested in your conversation. They're all invested in what we're talking about. It's like it's such an interesting thing that brings people together for it may be a short amount of time. It may be for the rest of your life. But it's 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 really interesting to me. Um, Yo, dude, that is so different than like. It's one of the things I do like about weed and one of the things that I hated about Coke. You know, I, I never really liked Coke. I think I told you that. I still but, never done it, so. Yeah, there's no reason for you to do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'll tell you, I never really liked it. And what I one of the things, besides the fact that it didn't make me feel good, what I hated the most about it, dude, it, like I, I was, it made me, you know, other people energetic and like – chatted up it made me quiet and sit in a corner and which is interesting yeah and it also made me want to tell my friends to stop talking and just put more drugs on the, on the table like it, there was nothing good that was ever going to come out of me right i was like why the fuck are you talking so much put more drugs on the table what is your fucking problem i told you that one time you hid in a corner that i thought yeah, there was one time that I also thought I was doing coke and it was meth. Did I tell you that? Oh, yeah. We've talked about that before. Dude. I just like – by the way, I don't even get what's going through that other dude's mind. Like, haha, practical joke. Practical joke. Like, what kind of joke is that? You just made me do meth. No, it wasn't – he – I think he thought it was going to be coke too. Oh. Um, oh it, it, well, that's that's opposite of what the story you told me was because you were – the original story that I heard, maybe this was years ago and maybe we've talked about it since, but – it was you said you got tricked into doing meth. No, 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 no. I said I did meth accidentally, not tricked. Right, 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 right. I, guess okay. I did right. meth accidentally. No, he didn't trick me, dude. I'll tell you something. It's interesting. We're talking about that. The guy. Well, I shouldn't say his name just in case. I mean, you know. <laughs> we will call him. 
if he's got kids and shit, he probably doesn't want me talking about him doing well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, write that down. Hold on. That's a weird way to out somebody. Yeah, right. It'd be like just so his wife hears a clip of it and just brings oh. it into the room and shows him the phone. Or the kid comes in and goes, Daddy, what's meth? And just shows him the phone. I told you that Yo. one time I was at my um I was at a get together with old friends and I met one of my friend's kids. And he asked me, he was like, what was it like knowing the Iceman when he was growing up? And I was like, what? He had given him, he had told his kids that he had gotten the nickname Iceman, that we had given it to him. And I was like, what? Let me, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. He told his son it's because he was ice cold with the ladies, but Iceman in reality was because he always had something on him. No, no. He, he was oh. a reference to sports that he told that he oh. was just had ice in the veins. So we just called him Iceman. And I, when the kid told me that, I was like, who? I had to ask him again. I go, who's your dad again? <laughs> he's like, right there. I go, oh, Iceman. So I called him over. And I go, hey. I go, hey, man. I go, I'm just talking to your son. And he's like, yeah. And he was like, he wanted to hear all the old Iceman stories. And my buddy's eyes. You could see the look on his face. The panic, the panic in his eyes. He was straight up, don't fuck this up for me. What'd you make up? He goes, what'd you tell him? I go, no, no, no. I go, you should. You tell your favorite Iceman stories. I'll just chime in. Because I wanted to know. uh, That is awesome. I wanted to know what we were talking about here. Yeah, me too. And I was like, that does sound like Iceman right there. Yeah, this dude. He was, he was just he was just pulling pulling clips from like old sports movies from like Miracle and Rocky and and shit. I'm like that's who you. He was. He was. Yeah. He was like, yeah. I boxed this guy named Apollo. No, the fuck you did not. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's yeah. Funny. Yeah, you can't give yourself a nickname either. That's not no. Nice. And by the way, you can't give yourself a nickname that wasn't your nickname. Tell it to your kids and then bring your kids around your college buddies because your college buddies are going to do exactly what he did, which was. Hmm, I'm listening. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can't yeah, you can't yeah. set yourself up for that kind of shit. It was a dude that I knew in high school. But oh, okay. Yeah, Either way, high school, college, it's the same thing. Like yeah, you can't you, you can't, can't you can't do that to yourself. You're no. setting yourself up for failure at that point in time. And <sighs> dude, now let me awesome. ask you the question I was gonna ask you about sleeping. Oh yeah, okay. Have you like you know who I don't understand? You know what psychos I don't get? Like people who can just walk into their room, get in bed, and turn out the lights. Like I'm like, what you like? No book, no no TV, no movie. Just good night. I'm like, you have murdered somebody. You, how do they do that? Well, I will look. I will say there have been things like jobs I've come home from. Like you, you worked long hours when you were growing up because you're a comic. Now you still work work pretty long hours. Yeah. But, for me, like working production, I kind of understand that because there are nights I've come home from an 18 hour day and I got to be up in six hours and I have a 40 minute drive home. I walk in the door. And this is also like when I was, when I was just living by myself, I would walk in, throw all my stuff on the floor and then wake up in the clothes that I wore the night, the day before. Like it's, you didn't it's, at I, least turn on the TV when you lay down. No, I was because like there are ones where you come in and you just lay down and you go, oh, I'm so tired. Let me just sit here for a second and yeah. then I'll get up, get changed, shower and go to sleep. And then I woke up in the same exact position with my jeans and shoes still on. Like I, I get that. Like after such a hard day, you're just like, bro, I just need to come in here and go to sleep. Like I, I get that. Um, but also when like I to, when I used to that, pick cucumbers, we had to do that. I would do that. Pause. Yeah. What did you just say? When I used to pick cucumbers, I would go home and sleep. Pick, you heard me, bro. When did you work? Like the 1600s? What is happening? What do you mean you were picking cucumbers? Somebody's got to pick them. 
What do you think they just jump off the fucking bing, bing, bing? Yeah, you pick yeah. cucumbers. Is that what grandpa made you go pick cucumbers as a job? Well, he didn't make me pick cucumbers as a job. It was just a job. But he made you go that. get a job that, that, that entitled you picking cucumbers. Dude, we did manual labor. Dude. I, I painted fire hydrants. I, I worked for the DPW. But I pick cucumbers. You know how you pick cucumbers? You you get on a really slow. You take it off you. the stem. You get what's that? You, you you go to the ground and you take it off the stem. Dude, the cucumber. You lay on a flat board on a slow moving tractor, and you just dink dink face down, dink dink picking cucumbers. It's, it's, it's like it's, it's like, like I love Lucy. It's like that I love Lucy conveyor belt scene where you're just like going back and just. How do you know what that down. is? Are you crazy? It's like one of the most iconic scenes of all time. Also, it's been remade about a thousand times. That's true. Like, Do you know what I- one? I, I'm going to give you one X-rated one and one PG one. The PG one is from Drake and Josh. And Drake and Josh worked in a sushi factory. And so they were trying to just like move the sushi back and forth. Yeah. And, like they would throw sushi to the ceiling so it would stick and they wouldn't see it or they'd start eating it. Which one of those guys is in trouble with the law right now? Drake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one I know it from. You want to take a guess? Uh, is it a porn? You said no. X. Yeah. Well, I mean, like more X-rated than sushi. Oh, okay. Uh, just I don't what, know. What? Just take a get. Take a guess at the show. What show do I always reference? Family Guy. Great. So it's Peter and Quagmire in a conveyor belt, and they're in a pharmaceutical work. So instead of popping the pills in each bottle, too many pills come at once. So then they just start eating all the pills. Oh boy! Or like putting a bunch, or like throwing it in their pockets, and it's just like, yeah. The line at the end is is pretty funny. Peter's like all drowsy, and he's and he's and he's bleeding from his nose, and he's just real dizzy, and he goes, "I got a wicked boner," and then falls over, and that's it. <laughs> that's the scene. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> I think I might do a mushroom this weekend. Nice. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. Do you need me to bring you some? Uh, or is it those old dry ones that I gave you in that box? Yeah. Yeah. But I also have those gummies that you really like the little square purple ones with like the half gram in them. What? Remember we got those, remember we got the caramels and those little purple. Oh yeah. I have like two of the, I have like two of the purple ones if you want. It's like a gram total. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, I like the actual mushrooms. Okay. You know what's crazy is I think I like I like the way they taste. Okay, that just adds to your serial killer list. Not only do you like the way that mushrooms taste, not by the way, not like regular mushrooms. I love mushrooms, like regular edible mushrooms, delicious. The psychedelic kind do not taste good. So I don't even want to see you nod your head like they taste good. So not Delicious. only do you think the psychedelic dried mushrooms that taste like they've been sitting under an old man's ass for six thousand years taste good. And you don't swallow pills with water voluntarily. And dude, no, this, not a chance. Not not a chance. Nope, no. One I'm, one I day, that, I am adding that to the list of psycho shit that is wrong with my father. Like not, day, not okay, dude. What? I forget. I always forget you were there that day where I was like, I'm just not going to use water to swallow pills he anymore. Thought he was talking like, to himself was the best part. He just thought no one else was in the kitchen, yeah. and he just was like, I think I'm just going to do this. And I was like, What? And he was like, oh, I, was like I didn't know you were there. I was a curse. Huh? I was a yeah, curse. Yeah, it was definitely a curse. It was during COVID. Yeah, and he just—it's like he, I don't think he knew I was there because I was like, What did you say? He was almost startled, like somebody heard him, and I was like, Yeah, repeat that. So I heard that correctly, and you said, I think I'm going to start swallowing pills without water. And proceeds to throw five of the biggest pills I've ever seen in his mouth and swallow them together. What in the world is that shit? Yeah, I, I don't know why I decided that I don't need water anymore. Because it definitely isn't easier and it's definitely not more comfortable. Then why did you choose to do it? You know why? Because you're fucking bananas. That's why. Yeah, you, you know, there is a part of me that is a little off. I mean, you're a comic, so it's a given. Like, yeah, yeah, but like sometimes, sometimes I just, I'm like, this is gonna be hard, or like, this is gonna be like really I get, uncomfortable. I get so I'm gonna do. The, 
yeah, I get being in a rush or like being out and about and like, ah, I can't, I don't have water to swallow these pills. It's a great talent to have to be able to swallow water without pills, but to then voluntarily choose to do it every time you take pills is blasphemy. It's not blasphemy, but it's a little bananas. Blasphemy. I think you should Google that word. What? Ready? Definition of the word blasphemy. Oh, that's easier. Tell me what it is. Well, I guess it's not about God, but I mean it's speaking right, false yeah. things. It yeah. Says, the act oh, the act or offense of speaking sacrilegious about God or sacred things, profane talk. Prof I would consider this profane. Yeah, but you're not, not, <laughs> it's not I would consider God. It's just really bizarre. It just also fit well with the moment. Could you just let me have it for the love of whatever? My man, I'm just trying to make sure that I know what words mean. Oh, that was for you, not for me. Okay, got Yeah, it. dude. That's why I said I don't think. Got it, got, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, 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 not like that. Look, it took me so hard, so long last week to come up with the word conundrum. You can't even remember it. I was go really hoping we would come back to it, and you would not fucking remember. It's a conundrum that you can't remember the word continuum. I'll tell continuum. you that. Continuum. It's definitely a conundrum that you cannot remember the word continuum. That is awesome. It happened without even me saying anything about it. That is just fucking great. I'm not sure why. I can't. Why is that word so hard for you to remember? You don't even you you get the C right, the first letter, which is great. You get the O right. Sometimes it kind of sounds like you're searching for a U, and then yeah. after that, like there's never even a T in the first four letters. You always have like some other random consonant in there. That yeah, I, I think I said that. one time I said like cylindrium. You said like con confirbulum the other way the other week. I don't even. That's not even a word. No, but I needed to get the no, the sounds out. I knew I was saying I, words that weren't words, but I thought you were gonna say like cerebellum at some point. I was like, that's a part of your brain, I'm pretty sure. Like I I think you're right. But I think I am right. I think you're on that. C E R E B E L L U M Cerebellum. Cerebellum. I'm pretty sure it's a part of your brain. Yeah. It's also probably some woman's name, cerebellum. A hundred percent. That's somebody's name, Sarah Bell. Not, that's why I laughed. I'm not disagreeing with I that. Someone, someone in the South, someone in the South will listen to this and send us a DM. And go, yeah, you know what? I have a friend named Sarah Bella, and it's like, yeah, I bet you do. Have you ever thought about, like, if you didn't, if you, have you ever thought about, man, I would have rather been named this. Like, was there ever a point in time where you didn't like your name? Hold on one second. <laughs> There you go. Hold on. When when Twilight was a thing, because everybody was like, oh, Jacob Wolf, like from Twilight. And I'm like, That's no, right. his name is Jacob, and he turns into a wolf. My name is Jacob Wolf, and I do not turn into a wolf. But was there ever a time where you like – because I remember growing up, I didn't like the name Josh, and I didn't like my middle name Micah at all. Uh, and I wanted, I wanted to be Dylan. No, nah, I can't see you as a Dylan. Dylan Wolf. But back then, there weren't a whole lot of Dylans. There's a lot of Dylans now. Right, right. I, I there were actually funny now that you think about it, or now that you say it. Like at one point in high school, I was looking at it because you know I wanted to be a professional athlete my entire life. Yeah. And I was like, yo, my last name is great, but my first name sucks. Like, what would I change my first name to so I could have an athlete name? Right. Yeah. And this is, is the name. No middle name. No middle name. This is the first name I landed on. Do you want to take any guesses? Can I have five guesses? Yes, you can. Are do you, you want to do five? Do you want to do five questions and a guess, or do you want to just do five guesses? Um, I'll do there. They'll. I'll. I get five either question or guesses. Okay, so five total things all the way around. Okay, all this right. Is okay. All. Yeah. all right. Yeah. Is it? I don't think you're ever going to guess it. Is it Tiberius? I don't even know why you asked that. Next question. Okay. Well, you said I was never going to get it, and I figured that was right but, at the top of the list. But, but come on. Like, is it a name that is common? Not as common as Jacob or Josh, I don't think, but still like a common, a common name, yes. 
Is the letter in the front half of the alphabet or the back half? Front back half. half. Back half. Is it Zane? No. That's you have one more guess, by the way. You're at four. Oh, I'm fucked. But I will say, stick in that section of the alphabet. Z is closer than you think to the first letter. All right. Well, I don't think it's easy. Is it? It's not you. You're not. You weren't a. Uh, was a tall center who played for the Rockets. Yao yeah, Ming. You weren't a Yao Ming guy, so I didn't think you were going to go with Yao Wolf. Yao. No, Y-O-W no, Wolf. Yao. That's pretty great. Wow Wolf. No. Wolf Wolf. Ooh, that's not terrible. It's awful. Oh. A, B, C, D, E, G, Q, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All right, I'm, I got it. Because this would be a very well, it would be like an easy to remember name. Wally Wolf. Why did you think I would go alliteration? You think I'm going double W? Wally Wolf? Also, why am I naming myself Wally? Well, dude, that's a great merge with the two W's like Wonder Woman, but you're Wally Wolf. No. Looks good on a belt buckle, on a hoodie. Wally Wolf. You know what it doesn't look good on? A birth certificate. <laughs> People just chanting Wally? What would you go with? Vincent. Vinny Wolf? Or straight Vincent? Vincent Wolf? Vincent. Vincent Wolf. Vincent Wolf sounds more like an athlete than Wally Wolf? We weren't talking about Wally until you brought it up. And I think Wally Wolf sounds like a plush animal toy that you get from the store. (laughs) (laughs) Wally Wolf? Does not sound like dude Vincent Wolf is not okay. I'm trying it's to think that. I'm trying to think what other names were being bounced around for you. Charlie. Like, I know that if I was not named Jacob, I was gonna be named Charlie. Thank God I am not named Charlie. Dude, Charlie Wolf? Shout out my guys named Charlie though. I have some good friends named Charlie. Um nothing oh, against wait. the name. It wouldn't have been Charles either. No, Charlie. Straight Charlie. Yeah. Had and you Charlie. named Charles, I would have never forgiven you. Chuck? Oh, I love Chuck. That's what I'm saying. It's like my Chuck, my, Wolf? my Chuck Wolf's a good name. Yeah. Not a good athlete name, though. Sounds like a better actor name, Chuck Wolf. Charlie Wolf sounds like an actor. How do you think your life would have been different if you had been named Charlie Wolf? I don't know. Like, like I will say like for us, like just going off of like our stuff and what we do, Josh and Charlie just doesn't roll off the tongue as good as Josh and Jacob. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I buy that. Um, how do you think my life was different? I don't know. Like for your name, you're never teased for your name. Right? No, no. I, the only tease I got was the twilight thing, but yeah, that's a good thing. That's, that's, I was teased by guys because they're like, haha, like the girls are making fun of you because of Twilight. And I'm like, nah, bro, if you've noticed, like the girls are coming to talk to me because they like Twilight and I remind them of their favorite book and movie. So why don't you yeah. rethink that once or twice? Um, I, you know, it's funny. I still get that reference every now and then, like just randomly, just from people. They're like, oh, like from Twilight. And I'm like, no, not from Twilight. I get, for some reason, I get more angry now than I did when I was a kid. And I'm like, I swear to God, you bring up that sh- from my past again, but like, it, it is what it is. But I don't know how different my life would have been named Charlie. I think, in all honesty, with the way the world works and, you know, multiverses and shit like that, and how there's a different action for every reaction or a different reaction for every action, sorry. Had I been named, Ch- been named Charlie, I think our lives would have been on a completely different, like, we're here for Jacob. But had we started back here and it was Charlie, we'd be up here in a different universe, different timeline, different, different professions, different Are you friends. you saying right now that you think that there is a Charlie Wolf somewhere out there in the universe, in a different 100%. universe? Or in this universe. You want me to Google Charlie Wolf right now and see what comes up? No, there's a ton of them, I'm sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like my grandfather's name. Oh, really? I, yeah, dude. And I used to, that's why. And I used to love. He was such a personable dude. 
he would walk into a party and we'd walk in with him and everyone would go, Charlie! And he'd be yeah. like, hey. Dude. Yeah, my buddy from high school named Charlie. Yeah. Shout out my, by the way, a great name because his name was Charlie Wood. So how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Dude, you would have been wood. Charlie Wolf and Charlie Wood living right next to each other. Facts. He was my neighbor for about 10 years that whole that whole time we lived at that house. Okay. But I will say, anytime it's the same thing. Like if I think about most Charlies that I know or knew, anytime they walked in the room, it was Charlie. Like it was, oh, yeah, yeah. It was like a big eruption and it was like, yo, it's the man, the myth. And it, like thinking about that, Charlie Wood was that man. Like Charlie has he walked that- in name that vibe of the name like some people have that last name like nita meyer and you're like nita meyer that's yeah. not no but you know no, but yeah but so yeah but uh chuck i hope you're if you hear this man you're listening shout out brother i hope you're doing well also an outstanding guitar player yeah great okay. musician 100 percent great musician. um tell me something now so we're gonna be in austin this week i'm giving away another guitar i gave away a guitar in winnipeg oh is that, gonna- is that, what, we're, is that what we're doing now I'm giving a guitar away every weekend. Love it. I know you hate traveling with a guitar. Hate traveling with a guitar. So Saturday late show. I got to set some rules though. If you scream out for the guitar, you'll never get it. And I'm only giving it away on Saturday late shows. And <laughs> yeah. And also if I get a DM like we did when we were in Australia. So did, you, did I tell you this? Some kid DM me in Australia and was like, hey, I already DM'd your dad about the guitar. And he said, no. What if I slip you a 20? Will you give it to me? And I was like, first of all, a 20? Thank you. That's what I said. I was like, first of all, if you're going to bribe the comic for the guitar, you better upcharge more than 20 bucks for the guitar you're going to get. Like, You might as well. Basically, you better pay me back for what I spent on the guitar. That's, yeah, man. Like, You're going to give me a, a fucking 20 for the guitar that we were you were playing on stage? And he, he came honestly, up to me after the show and was like, yo, I'm the one who sent you the DM. And I was like, yeah. I, and I was like, oh, yeah, you look just like your profile picture. And he goes, didn't want to try it out for me? I go, didn't want to pay me more than 20 bucks? Yeah. Like, what, what's, what's, what's the deal here? And he's like, for the fans. And I was like, for my rent. Like, what what are we talking about here? Saying, if, I, if I was going to accept money, it's not $20. Uh, exactly, that's what, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like, did I tell you that Gibson, I'm going to start giving away Gibson guitars. Oh, Nice. Gibson is hooking it up. Oh, fucking right! Shout out Gibson. Well, I, I'm pretty I sure. Said, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure when I tried to play guitar when I was in middle school, I had a Gibson. There's no way I bought you a Gibson. Why? It was a very cheap guitar. That's not a Gibson. Um, I wonder what guitar I had. Come they're on. giving. I forget, but they're giving me. I still have to buy them, but they're giving me a good deal. Great. Yeah, Great. I really. Want- Wait, so question. Are you just going to have a bulk load of guitars at your place that you will then travel with every weekend? How is that working? I'm going to have them ship it to me. Oh, like at each destination? Yeah, I'll ship the guitar. I'll play it for the first, you know, however many shows and the last show. But when we do those that theater run, you know, we got booked in some big theaters recently. And so when we do back to back, to back three different cities, three theaters. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll have them send me one to each. I really love doing it, dude. It's such, yeah. it's, I can't tell you how, how good it makes me feel. And I'm glad people like it. You know, dude. I will say there's a better chance that you're giving the guitar to someone who doesn't play guitar in the crowd than someone who does play guitar, which makes it more fun. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me if they play guitar or not. You know, I usually give it to somebody who I had some sort of connection with, or we had some fun, or are you? Yeah, you, you, somebody you bantered with while you were on stage. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, um, in Winnipeg, uh, I gave it to this dude because we were. T- I was saying something about birthdays, and I wasn't talking. Nobody knew I was going to give the guitar away. Yet. And um, she goes, "It's my husband's birthday," and I said. Whoop de fucking do, and I, I said whoop de fucking do for him, and I, it made me giggle because I I've never said whoop de do to anybody, and it's pretty uh, oh whoop de that made I was I dude I giggled oh you know what happened in Winnipeg you are so write that down before you forget it though please so you what don't, happened in yeah well no about you talking about whoop de fucking do to somebody. 
No, I mean write it down so you write down what you were going to talk about, not write down the time. Oh, dude. Ah, so I'm talking to this woman up front. And I forget what we were talking about. I go, what do you do? She goes, I sell dildos. And I was like, oh. And she said, my bu- my business really took off during COVID. And I was like, I bet. Like, not, a whole, not a whole lot to do. And she goes, yeah, some of my clients are back there. And first of all, to call them clients, I guess. But she made it sound like she was a lawyer, you know? Yeah, yeah customers. Clients. Customers. Yeah, yeah, client is a really upscale way of saying that. Yeah. But so I go, oh, I go, who are you getting back? And she goes, it was a, a mom, a dad, a daughter. They were all clients. I was like, what? This is what happens when it's 40 below, everybody. Yeah, you stay the fuck inside and you don't care who else is inside. All right, now listen, guys. We're almost at an hour. Yep. Um, Here's the deal. Come check us out, comedianjoshwolf.com, for all tour dates. Mm -hmm. Austin is this weekend. This won't be up by then. And in April, April, I am in – I'm doing a theater in Chattanooga on April 15th. I'm at Zany's in Nashville on April 16th. I'm at the Ryman Theater for Kid Rock's comedy show on April 18th. And then 420, 421, 422, you and I are in Nashville. So we're going to do a fun 420 show. No, 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 no. We're in Charlotte. Charlotte. In Nashville. He's in Nashville for those three days prior. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going expecting me, I am sorry. I will not be there. Um, I am moving this month, and we have – a month to get this whole place packed up. So I got to take as much time as I can here to get stuff together. But Charlotte Thursday at on 420. We're going to do a fun 420 show. Oh yeah. What should we do for a 420 show? I don't know. I don't. And this is nothing against anybody. I don't want to give away any of my weed. My weed's too good for anybody, but like, you know, that's not legal to give away weed. Oh yeah. We're not in a legal state. Anywho, but you know, we should try and figure out like some fun things to give away or maybe like a, maybe like a, maybe some merch or maybe we'll make some stickers or, or maybe some sort of stony baloney game. What is that? Like a fun game we can play on stage while we're high. And that involves the crowd. Yeah. Or just us. Well, maybe yeah, but the crowd's got to be somewhat involved. Or maybe we could do some like, Trivia is fun high. If we did, yeah, if we trivia is super fun high. I wonder if we did like a, like a, I wonder if we can look up like a stoner trivia <clears throat> and ask just like stoner questions about the world's, like about history's greatest stoners. Who do you think are history's greatest stoners? Bob Marley. Um, me. Um, <laughs> why can't I think? Oh, uh, Thomas Dobaziola. Um, I'm really, also speaking for huh? Willie Nelson, Snoop Dogg. Willie Snoop. Uh okay, Jerry man. Garcia. Who's Jerry? I know who Jerry Garcia is, never mind. Um Benzel, because he's like a thousand. Denzel. Uh, Benzel, you know, our boy Ben. Oh. ben Benzel. He was like a you thousand. Think Benzel is higher on the starter list than I am. Currently, with how much weed you guys smoke comparatively. Yeah, I don't smoke it. Blown out of the water. I got to tell you, dude, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm Obviously, I'm going to get back into edibles. I don't know if I'm going to smoke again. Well, can't relate. Yeah, I know. But I don't know if I'm going to. That is creepy. Oops, sorry. That is creepy. Um, yeah, I don't know. over your shoulder the entire time. Elvis has been? Yeah. He's been like, peekaboo. Or he's been like, peekaboo. Hey, little buddy. But is, is it, isn't there a song that he sings about watching somebody? It is there? Is it there? How does it go? I don't know. There's that I always be can't sing it yeah. too. Yeah, you know it's that. not that one. Uh, um Oh, that's not Elvis, JK. I was um the the it's an 80s song, I'm pretty sure. Really? We'll have to go over that. Every step you take. Oh, that's the police. 
Was I right? 80s? Breath You Take. Oh, yeah. That's off of their Synchronicity album. I was right, though, 80s. I saw them, and I was young. This older dude took me. It was the first time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. Yeah. An older man took you where? To a rock concert. To see the police and REM. He was one of Adam's friends. Okay. Yeah. Friends. Yeah, friends. One of Adam's friends. His name's Jay McCoy, a super solid dude. Ended up being a rock Great star. Name. Huh? Great name, Jay McCoy. Dude, he had my favorite car ever. He had the fucking Entourage car. The convertible. Oh, the, the, the 50 Continental. He had that fucking, oh, it was so I, that, good. Red leather in the interior. Yeah. And the I, white I know your dream car. Tires and the yeah. suicide doors. That's my dream. His dream. It was dream car, ladies and gentlemen, is a 1952 Continental, all black with those suicide it's doors. Is it 52? I think you told me it was 52. I don't think it's 52. I think it's 70s, it feels like. You told me 50, too, when we talked Dude. about it. But that's all. This was years ago. There's so, no way I told you. You know me. I don't know cars. I didn't tell you. Was, now, I did tell you that I like the 50 Chevys. Um, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I but that, that, what year? Yeah. What year did Lincoln. Um, Lion King. That's not Lion King. <laughs> what year did Lincoln make cars with suicide doors? I wonder why they stopped. For nine years, sixty-one to sixty-nine. Yo, oh. dude, those are those oh, cars are fucking gorgeous. Jeez, yeah. us. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Why did they start making suicide doors? I don't know. I mean, look, suicide doors now in the yeah, no, I like it. It's a nice car. The suicide doors now are a lot more apparent. Um, Who what car? Suicide door. Rolls Royce, baby. Rolls Who Royce, silver. Just so you know, Rolls Royce is the only car on the market right now, unless you get it made custom, that does suicide doors not only on their sedan but on their SUV. And it is also you get in and you push a button and the door closes by itself. You look at that fucking car. Yep, that's dream car shit right there. Yep, my old school dream car is a 1972 uh, cherry red with a white racing stripe Thunderbird convertible, white interior. Really? Mm-hmm. What, didn't you used to – what you used to want like a straight-up Zoom Zoom car, right? Or that I, your- the car that I wanted when I was in high school was a Dodge Challenger. That's right. And those old Challengers and old Camaros are fucking tight. So when I would also – Old, what are you talking? What do you mean? How old when you say old? 1980? What do you mean by old? Oh, no. For – Oh, oh, for the Camaros? No, the 70s, the 70s for the Camaros and the Challengers were the best year. Yeah. For sure. The um, best years for the Mustangs were 66 to 69. I love it when dudes talk to me about cars because they think I'm going to know what I'm talking about. They're like, that's a 1950, and I'm like, they don't. By the way, those facts that I just gave you are the only things I know about old cars. So moving on. Um, all right, listen. Guys, if you want to come see us on tour, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. He's on all of them except for the one in Nashville and Chattanooga. Um, ComedianJoshWolf.com. And then Josh Wolf Comedy and on socials. But big thing, listen. We go on iTunes, rate and subscribe, and leave a comment. I can't tell you how much it helps us, guys. If it, it Obviously, this doesn't cost anything, and – I'm asking you to spend five minutes of your day doing something that I probably wouldn't do. But, I, <laughs> but I'm going to ask you to do it anyways. If you can go over there, it would really mean a lot to us. It just moves us up in their algorithm and gets more eyeballs on our show and ears. Yep. And that's kind of what we need. Um, so if you can head over to iTunes and rate and subscribe and, and uh, leave a comment, that would be amazing. What do you got to say? Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Um, uh, shout out. Oh, oh, you know, I forgot to tell this today, but I'll end it with this. Um, shout out to my boy Phoenix, who I met playing video games yesterday, who recognized my voice while we were playing. That was a pretty surreal moment. Um, 
He lives uh, just on the border of New Mexico and Texas, stationed in the Army. Thank you for your service, brother. Uh, great meeting you yesterday. Great getting some games in. Um, you know, do something nice for somebody today. Tell somebody you love them. Uh, yes. And we'll see you guys next time. Buddy, I love you. I'll see you in a couple days in Austin. See Don't you forget coming. your license. I won't lose my wallet. I know where that is at all times. So uh, I'm good. I love you. Love you. Later, everybody.